Andrea acá ya estamos aquí en el octavo desde la UFC 148. Estoy con Costa Filippo. Well, it was a great fight, and you went through a lot of different things. Tell us about the eye and then the groin and. <laughs> Not a great fight. My groin is okay, by the way. <laughs> um, the the eye was. Uh, I, I was actually pretty worried. I thought I lost my left eye. I I thought it was hanging out. Uh, the doctor told me that. Uh, I will be okay to continue and uh, it will be up to me. Uh, I don't know, he was talking to the referee. Um, I don't know, I guess they gave me a few minutes. I, I knew it was the third round, I knew I was ahead in points and I didn't want to win the, the fight like that. Nobody wants to win like that. If you're really uh, a fighter, you don't want to win like that. Um, I knew it was two minutes left or three minutes left on the th third round. I figured I'd be able to continue with one eye. I can do anything for two minutes, but I'm getting in and I'm two seconds into it, I'm getting kicked in the groin, kind of pissed me off. I didn't even stop, like, Whoa, enough, come on. It's kind of bad luck. <laughs> well, you, you, you were a little stressed with your performance, with the fight, how it was going. Um, your thoughts about, you know, in that point and your stress. It wasn't just a little stress. Uh, I'm stressed in every fight, <laughs> but uh, it was an awkward opponent. Obviously, he's an experienced guy. Um, I couldn't settle. He was, I, I knew he was after a takedown, and especially after the, the first round, he took me down, kind of, and I got up. I knew coming in the second round, he was going to go after uh, to shoot and try to take me down. So I, I wanted to uh, punch one or two punches and move out, but I couldn't um, figure out the distance. I, he's an experienced fighter, and uh, I, I felt at, up to the point that I went down from the eye poke that it was an awful fight. Uh, people were booing, so I didn't want to disappoint them on that too. I go, I get at least get up and give them something. And it worked out towards the end, I think. They like me now. <laughs> well, you have a great corner. You know, tell us a little bit, what are the feelings of being able to work with these amazing guys? I have the greatest corner between Eric Heyer, uh, Ray Lango, and uh, Matt Serra. Uh, one of the, the, the most experienced uh, guys out there from as far as jiu-jitsu, uh, Muay Thai, striking, a, a, anything. They're, they have the experience uh, with fighting. Uh, they can tell you uh, how it's, it's normal, C certain feelings and certain ways, because there's coaches that they never fought and they, they guess. You so, oh, you're supposed to be stressed. How do you know? But <laughs> these guys, they actually do know. And um, they make me feel comfortable. Uh, I, I just heard, I. I couldn't hear in the, while I was fighting, but Matt said I was yelling at me to throw high kicks. I think that was funny. <laughs> and the fact that I actually threw a high kick, that's, uh, by the way, the first high kick <laughs> in my career. I thought that was funny. Nobody would expect me to throw a high kick. And I think I cut him a little bit too. So uh, I'm willing to try new things. I, I knew he wouldn't expect me to throw a kick, uh, not a high kick, huh, even worse. So I figured, why not? Give it a shot. And uh, it worked out, So, but that's about it, one. <laughs> well, you talk very humbly about, you know, that he's a very experienced fighter, blah, blah, blah. But you have a record that your last, out of your last 13, 12, you, you've won. So you're also really experienced. You know, tell us a little bit about that and what you're looking for now in your... Um, are you looking for somebody in specific? I'm not looking for anybody specific. I'm looking to get uh, another opponent, whoever that might be, get another win, and... Uh, it is, whoever it's going to be, it doesn't really matter. I'm not the kind of guy, oh, I won the champion, I'm ready, I'm up there. I'm not even close to that level yet. Uh, I might get to that level. I need a lot of work. I need to go back to the gym right now, watch the table over and over again, figure out all the mistakes that I did because there's a lot of mistakes over there, and fix a few mistakes and learn at least from a victory and uh, come back next time even better when the UFC decides that I'm in a higher level, they're, they're going to give me the right opponent. I'm, they know the job. That's why the UFC is where it is right now. Well, tell us a little bit about your emotions being part of one of the biggest fighting cards in UFC history. Um, right now, the greatest feeling in the world. Uh, four fights in a row in the UFC. And two years ago, 99% um, of the people told me I wouldn't even be able to do mixed martial arts and wouldn't even be able to become a fighter. Because I used to be, I came from a boxing background and they said impossible. And I go, okay, just tell me I can't do something and you'll see. And uh, I keep fighting just to keep proving uh, people wrong. You know how many people won't be able to sleep tonight just because I won? <laughs> Pissing people off, that's, <laughs> it makes me happy. <laughs>
Well, Augusta, I'm glad you won. I'm glad you're able to prove that. And thank you for being here in El Octágono. Yo soy Andrea Calle y estamos aquí desde la UFC 148. Yes. <laughs> Visit El Octágono for all the latest in MMA, news, fight results, interviews, live event coverage, podcast, and video capsules. All this and much more in Spanish. Find all your MMA needs here inside El Octágono, the number one source dedicated 100% to MMA in Spanish. El Octágono.com